If I could give you some content writing tips to drive more traffic to your website and to make more sales, then it will probably sound like this. Today, I'm giving you my five best content writing tips to help you grow your blog. So let's get started with the first content writing tip that I have for you, and that is to become a problem solver. Guys, in this business, in any business, the sole purpose of creating any business is to become a problem solver. And you want to make sure that you are addressing people's problems. This is the very reason why you need to know who your audience is and what their biggest needs are. And so what you're going to do with your content is you have to solve a problem. You know, what are you answering? What questions are you answering? How are you helping people with their struggles? You know, how are you helping people to solve problems that they have? So how does your content really benefit people? One of the things you need to do is you have to focus on solving people's problems. So if you can find a solution to a problem that maybe your blog is going to help people out with, then you need to lace your content that way. Your content needs to be about having solutions and leading people to their answer. So make sure that you focus on becoming a problem solver. My second content writing tip for you is to hook them with a killer headline. Now, I don't know if I can actually say that word without having any penalties, but that is exactly what you need to do. You need to create headlines, guys, that are captivating. These are headlines that make people look twice, take a double look. And two things that you need to have within a headline. You need to first create curiosity and second, you need to be able to have actionable keywords. And these are keywords that make people basically click on your link. So when you have headlines that are compelling, that are saying things to trigger something in a person's mind, maybe they feel the need to click on it because they don't know what it's about and they want to find out more. That's what you need to have. You need to have things that cause people to move and to make a movement to basically click on your link. So when you have headlines that are compelling and they get people to click on their link, this is a good thing. This is what really drives up your CTR, which is your click-through rate. And that's extremely important because the more clicks that you have, it really kind of helps to maintain your ranking or basically get to the ranking that you want. So make sure that you have a really good headline, guys. This headline is really what's going to get people to basically read your blog post and to find out more about what you're talking about. The third thing that you need to do, guys, is create content with a purpose. And what I mean by that is you shouldn't be creating content just for the fun of it. If you are actually creating a blogging business, then each piece of content should be created with a purpose. Say, for example, if you have an affiliate marketing product that you want to promote, then you can create content around that affiliate marketing product. And the whole purpose of creating that prop, the whole purpose of creating that content is so that you can lead people to that product. So that's what I mean by creating content with a purpose. Purpose. Never just create content just for the fun of it because each piece of content is what not only can help drive you traffic, but to help you make more sales. So create content with the end in mind. Think about the results that you want. So if your results is to get, you know, more coaching clients or to create more sales or to even drive traffic somewhere else, make sure that you're creating each piece of content with that purpose in mind. Now, my fourth content writing tip for you is to update old blog posts. You should be updating your posts regularly. And this is one of the things, of course, that I don't really see new bloggers doing because obviously you have a more newer blog, but you should always think about updating your content regularly. And the way that you do this is by going back to old blog posts and refreshing them every three to six months. Because one of the things that Google likes is what? New content, fresh content. And so when you go back to a blog post that you can update, maybe there's some information on there that, you know, is a little outdated now. And maybe it's updated. Maybe, maybe there's some new things out. And you can actually add that into your blog post. Maybe you can add some graphs into your blog post. Maybe you can add some new statistics or case studies. You know, you can do things like that. You can update those posts regularly. And honestly, what it does is it helps increase your rankings if you're not already where you want to be. So always work on old content. You can keep adding more to the content. You can, you know, add new graphs, like I said, new images. You can give new information in those posts. So make sure that you're updating your content regularly. Now, my fifth content writing tip for you is that Google loves, you know, graphs, statistics, things like that. 
And that is one of the things that really, really gets Google kind of like looking at your blog posts or your articles. Because a lot of times people, they create a lot of fluff. They create very, you know, mediocre type of content that doesn't go in depth. Now, this might require you to do a little bit more extra work, but it's definitely well worth it. You want to start going more in depth with your content and really showcasing how you're getting this information. I mean, are you pulling it from case studies? Can people go back and reference this information that you're giving? Can you give any type of statistics, any type of, you know, percentages or anything like that to help back up your uh, content? Then that is really good because Google loves this type of content. You can find all kinds of studies for one to link to your post and so that people can actually find this information and pretty much go and reference a lot of what you're doing. I actually would consider doing more of this in the long run as you update your blog. So it's nothing that you have to do all at once in the very beginning, but as you go back and update old content, this is a great way to add this type of substance to your content and to constantly, in a sense, kind of compete with other bloggers and other content creators. So definitely make sure that you are going back and you're adding in, you know, statistics, you know, extra articles that support your content and really going in depth with your content. Now these are just five content writing tips that I gave you and there's so many more out there that I could go on and on and on. So what I did guys is I created an article called 20 content writing tips for beginners. You can check it out over at mailboxmoneyblog.com. That's my blog. I go into detail and I give you 20 content writing tips that can really help grow your blog. If you just started blogging, drop a message down in the comment section below and let me know if you are using any of these content writing tips for your blog to kind of help grow your blog. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and I will definitely see you on the next one.